Good morning, YouTubers. This is Rachel here with Country Sparkles, and my husband and I just got a blow-up hot tub. We are pretty excited, so we are setting it up nice and early on a Saturday morning in February in Idaho. It is like negative three degrees outside, so it's too cold for a blow-up hot tub outside, but we have cleaned out part of our garage, and we're going to set it up in here. So I'm going to flip you around and show you what kind of hot tub and everything and do kind of a little review on it. We'll use it for a couple days and I will tell you how I like it and how, how it's going. So here we go. So here's the hot tub. It's a Salu Spa. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. And um, it is definitely not as big as the picture looks. <laughs> but uh, it's got this <clears throat> soft cut touch control panel and a big round heater thing see that in there and so these are its functions air jet quick setup warm air two to four capacity I definitely think two adults and I don't know about four adults at all um, no tools needed apparently a water temperature gauge so we're pretty excited we've wanted a hot tub and I'm thinking this is gonna be a really good way to kind of test out our hot tub desire, whether we really like the idea or if we like the idea more than we actually like the thing, because I've heard hot tubs are lots of work, but we will see. So that's the box, and I'll take you over here. So this is the area that we've cleaned out. We have this, had the super thick vinyl laying around, and so we decided to put that under there. So this, or we would have put a tarp under there if we didn't have this just laying here. Um, we decided to do that to protect it from any potential rocks or anything on the ground. And I swept it off really good, so no holes in our blow-up hot tub. I can't believe that we have a blow-up hot tub. But here it is. <clears throat> There's a little egg heating unit, and my husband's just starting to set up. So this is a heater in our garage, in case you're wondering, a propane heater, because it's freezing. And they recommend that you, it doesn't work well at all it doesn't work at all in 40 degree or less weather I said and in our garage it's about 40 degrees so we're pushing the limits here that's okay so um so that's what it looks like and there's some hoses I'll show you my husband hooking those up maybe and but if you're thinking that doesn't look very big it's because you don't because like that's my foot yeah, it's not super giant. Here, Braxton, come stand over by this so they can see. This is my um, seven-year-old. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, it's going to fit for adults real well. <laughs> okay, here my husband goes. So he turned this on. He's pushing the power button. Wait, put this hose in there, honey. Number one. Number one. And then it's going to blow it up. Is that what this is supposed to do? It's going to blow it up. Okay, it's going to blow it up. So the material is really thick. It's almost like a, um, a raft, like when you raft down the river. I know not very many people raft down rivers, but it's super thick like that. Hey, it's getting bigger. Might have be able to get a couple girlfriends in there. Hang out this week, have a girls' night. See, I don't know if you can tell how thick that is. That's really thick. That's not like, it's not like air mattress. It's way thicker than an air mattress, I would say. Probably at least double the thickness. And tall, it's about... It's not super tall, it's about 
my thigh, just a little bit, about six inches above my knee. It's not crazy tall or anything. But that's okay, because I kind of want to be able to sit in there. It's like a really big kiddie pool. Blow up kiddie pool. <laughs> but thicker than a kiddie pool. It's definitely thicker than those little swimming pools. Okay, there it is all blown up. Um, my husband just unhooked the air hose. So this air hose will also circulate the water. So it says you might need to, the instructions so that you might need to fill up the air every once in a while. And we have a, just an air mattress electrical blow upper, and we'll just hook that up to there and use that to blow it up. And then that's some of the water hoses there. And it's got... So it pulls water from these three spots to rotate it, and apparently you can empty out all the water up to the bottom of that lowest spot by using the heater pump thing. And then to get the bottom water out for when that time comes, it has a little plug down there. So that's cool, but it's all blown up, and we think that you can't really overfill it because there's like this little vent on the side that air was going out of. So if it's too full, it has a little vent. So that's kind of cool because you're not, so you don't have to worry about popping it yourself by filling it up too high. So where was the vent, honey? Uh, it's on this hose. It's air hose view. Oh, on the hose. Oh, there, okay. So, so there. There you go. So that had a little vent to let any extra air out of. So it's cool. So now we've got the cover, and we had to put the inflatable part of the cover inside the cover lid and then blow it up. So that'll go on top of it to keep the heat in, so that way it's not always constantly just warming up. Here we go, blowing up the lid. There you go. All blown up. So in case you don't know, air is one of the best insulators. So even though you think, oh, hey, the air is so cold out here, so how's your hot tub going to stay warm? Well, the air in between it is still going to be warm, so that will be a good insulator between the cold air on the outside and the hot air in the inside the hot tub. So, yeah. Since it's really cold out here, this plastic tube here is really thin thick plastic but it's also cold and we have to bend it to conform to the heater from the heater to the hot tub and so in order to do that we are heating it up a little bit so it's a little bit more pliable because if we just bent it to where we wanted to it could potentially crack and we don't want to do that so we're warming it up here on our little propane heater so these three spouts coming from the water heater rotator so they screw, so these twist on. Oh, focus. So these twist on and to connect to the hot tub. You see, he's twisting that there to tighten it. And so you twist all three of those in. These will hold water, so you want to make sure they are tight. Yeah, no one needs no leakage, especially in their garage. If you're setting this up too, make sure your drain plug is in before you start filling it up. Otherwise, that will definitely leak. And, yeah. My husband said before I turned off the camera, it's really important to make those sure those are tight, especially if you have this in your basement or something, which I would never put a hot tub in my basement. But you never know. You might want to. It'd be warmer for sure. And then this hose comes around here. Got that all warmed up and pliable, and it has just screwed on to this spout over here. Okay, so he's popping off these black caps. Apparently they pop off, not screw off. He screwed them off at first and then it took out the little gray pieces. That's not supposed to happen, so pop it off like that. And then, oh, apparently I'm popping one off here too. Maybe. Leave my unscrews. No, don't pop out. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course, the hardest.
this one I'm watching. This one I'm recording. There it goes. And make sure those are screwed back in if you've twisted around. And then these twist on or pop on, honey? Twist on. These are the filters. These are the filters they twist on. So two filters down there. Hey, right, next on the instructions is double check all the connections to make sure they are tight and not going to leak any water, and then fill it up. And I don't know how long it's going to take to fill it up, but it will not be quick. Not nearly as quick as blowing up was. So for us filling up the hot tub, we are taking a garden hose, putting it on one side, and taking it into our laundry room and hooking it up to the hot pipe. So that way we're filling it up with warm water and that'll make the egg heater work not quite so hard. Okay, here we go. My husband's turning it on. Hold this. Pretend like I'm being helpful. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Take two. My husband's turned the water on. He said it's coming. So now we're waiting. So this is going to take forever because we're not turning the water on all the way. We're just turning it on a little bit. There it goes. And we're just going to let it sit in here because then the water heater can continually warm up the water instead of just emptying the water heater out all into here. Because how many how many gallons of water? I'm about 50 in our tank. No, how many gallons of water for oh, the... This, this will take about 170. Yeah, so there's 50 gallons of water in our tank, 170 for this. So if we run it just a little bit, then it'll put in warm water instead of just emptying out all the hot water into here and then filling up with cold water. So we're just going to let it trickle in here. And yeah, maybe this evening it'll be full. <laughs> okay. Go. Okay, so right. <laughs> for, first hot tub hack, we're still filling it up, but, but I discovered in, in knowing that we're going to be in our garage where it's cold uh, a lot of the year. On the back side of this, uh, I think Rick pointed out earlier, there's this hose that runs on some of their models, not all, but there's this hose that runs like from a quarter of the way around back to the filter heater. And I'm just looking at that saying that's going to be a losing a lot of heat. So I just grabbed a pool noodle, uh, kind of funny because it's a hot tub pool. <laughs> I, I split it open and just uh, wrapped it around like a piece of insulation. So it should help keep our hot tub a little bit warmer. So little little hat trick for you. Way to go, honey. Okay, so here we have our hot tub. It's all full. It took us like four-ish hours, but we turned the water off at some point so that way the water heater could warm up and we turned it back on and we only let it go in slow and stuff like that. So it took a while, but if you just fill it up, it definitely won't take, wouldn't take that long. Um, because we filled the water up from our house so that way warm water was going in there, um, we put this cover on and we just stuck the hose right there. And then that kept all the steam and heat in there, and which I think helped the water to not cool off as it filled up. And now we'll show you it full. Okay, so here it is all filled up. We've got it to the, oh, where does, there we go. We have minimum and max fill lines there. We have to the min fill line. And we're gonna, it's all warmed up. It's been sitting for about an hour at least warming up to 102 and when it was filled up it was probably around in the 98-ish range when it was filled up from our house so yeah now we get to test it out and I'll tell you what we think after we do that okay here it is with one adult and two kids a toddler and a big kid and they're fitting pretty good in there and I'll hop in so, it's small, but it's not too bad for a little family like us. Okay, some thoughts about our inflatable hot tub as we just got out of it for the first time. So, um, definitely fill to the minimum line if you're going to have more than like one person in there or like maybe even a little bit lower because if you have the water above the maximum fill line, then when you turn the um, bubbles on, like when you're in there, if it's above the maximum fill line, then when you're in there, um, the water will spray out over the sides a bit. So that's a note. 
And then on the bottom of the hot tub, I didn't notice before, it has like a thin, like probably maybe an inch or less of a foam pad built into the hot tub. And that's really nice for on the concrete and stuff. So you're not sitting on a hard floor or cold surface. And I didn't even think about it. My husband pointed that out. And so that was really nice. Um, I am about five foot seven and I can sit in there and it comes about to my collarbone, the water level. Um, and at the, it was above the max fill line when we were all sitting in there. I'm back. I thought of a few more things while I was getting dressed. So the water pump hasn't stopped pumping yet. It just sounds like it continually pumps water through it even after it's reached its temperature. So that's not worrisome, but I'm not loving that because that's going to mean um, the electrical bill will be higher. And so I wish that that would stop pumping until like it's, you know, drop down a few degrees and then pump water through to warm it back up just a little bit, you know. So I wish that that was a little bit different. And then also... Um, this is definitely more of a sitting and relaxing in kind of hot tub, not a kid running around jumping on all the surfaces type of hot tub. It's too small for that, pretty much. <laughs> like nobody can handle that themselves and everyone's gonna be tripped over and we don't and no and it could pop holes in it and stuff like that. So this is just like a sit and chill kind of thing, whereas like bigger, not inflatable hot tubs, normal hot tubs, um they you can just you know, kids can not jump around because you don't want them to be unsafe obviously but can be a little bit more rambunctious in it but this is more of a just sit and relax type of hot tub which most hot tubs I think are meant for but you know kids make anything into a playground so just a warning there it's uh, not good for jumping around and stuff like that so yeah thanks for joining in with me and watching this video and if you would like to see more of my random videos you never know what I'm gonna come up with next this one was a review and sometimes I do comparisons sometimes I just do cleaning videos how to and organizing I don't know just whatever I'm gonna come up with next but if you would like to subscribe and follow along and see what what I come upon next then push the subscribe button down below and it will notify you when I when I post a new video and also like this video to let others know if the information was was useful or not and feel free to leave a comment I love reading through them and I'm just learning this process so I hope I do a little bit better every time and learn a little bit more hope to see you guys next time